As a GP, I get asked the following question all the time. And it's a very simple question. And it should have a very simple answer. And that question is, what's my cholesterol? So when my patients ask me what their cholesterol is, I don't exactly tell them. And there's a reason for that. If you've seen your results or you've logged into the NHS app, you'll find that the results look a little something like this. And it does beg the question, which cholesterol do you want to know about? Because there's LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, serum cholesterol, non-HDL cholesterol, triglycerides, and these other ratios, so as you can see, it is quite complicated. Today, we're going to achieve three things. Firstly, I'm going to go through each test result in easy to understand, simple language, minus the medical jargon. Secondly, I'm going to do it again, but this time using a metaphor that's easy to understand. And finally, we're going to tie it all together to learn about what you should actually do with your results. So before I give you the metaphor to explain things really simply, I want you to understand these four things first. So let's keep it straightforward and easy. When we're talking about lipids, lipids, fats, the term is essentially interchangeable. And there are two types of these lipids or fats that we're interested in when it comes to heart disease and preventing heart attacks. They are cholesterol and triglycerides, two fats that are important, no, essential for life. Let's just start there. Cholesterol is a fat that we get both from our diet and we create from our liver that is essential for creating and building things. They're like building blocks. They help build cell walls, hormones, vitamins, amongst other important things. That's what cholesterol is. Now consider triglycerides like batteries, extra energy, and actually an excellent source of energy but when we eat too many of these, we store them as fat. LDL, the guy we call bad cholesterol. What's so bad about LDL? LDL is this molecule called a protein. It's something that picks up cholesterol from the liver or gut and transports it to wherever it might need to go. So what's bad about it? Well, when there's a lot of them carrying a lot of cholesterol, they are more likely to bump into and encounter rough patches of arteries, which are blood vessels around our body. And if they get stuck or get under the skin of those arteries, they can cause immune responses, more LDL to attach. And that swelling and swelling that narrows our arteries. If that narrows significantly and that's near our heart, that's what a heart attack is. If that happens in our brain, that's what a stroke is. So you can probably guess what HDL is. HDL, we call that good cholesterol. So why is that one good and LDL bad? Because they actually do very similar things. They're both proteins and they both carry cholesterol. The difference is the direction. HDL picks up cholesterol from different parts of the body and transports it to the liver and the gut where we can get rid of it. It's sort of like the cleanup crew. So now that we have a little bit of an understanding about cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL and LDL, I know even when I say it out loud it sounds confusing, but now that we have a, hopefully a bit of a better understanding about it, let's plug it into my analogy and my metaphor to consolidate it into a way you won't forget it. So humor me for a moment while we imagine arteries as roads and we imagine LDL as bad vehicles on that road. By bad, let's just imagine them as trucks and lorries going around the town, dumping cholesterol on the pavement, causing blockages and buildup of traffic and traffic jams. So no longer can the cars and the pedestrians and the cyclists actually get through. And this traffic jam, that's a problem. Consider HDL. Good vehicles, like those things, those vehicles that have the sweepy things on them. I'll leave a picture here because I don't actually know what they're called. But they go around and they sweep up the mess, 
to make traffic flow a little bit easier. The more of them on the road, the better because they clear the way. Let's plug triglycerides into this. Consider triglycerides delivery vans. They're going along and they stop and they hop out and they deliver their package and you're left there wondering and waiting for the traffic to continue moving. Loads of those on the road, that's going to slow down things too, isn't it? Now, the beauty of this metaphor, if you're still with me, is that it allows us to make it much easier, the ratios and the other parts of this blood panel that really just sound confusing and don't make sense. So if we consider total cholesterol, I think that's the number that most patients are interested in, what their total cholesterol is. But total cholesterol is counting what all those, the number of sweepers, the number of, of uh, trucks, the number of lorries, um, the number of delivery vans, it counts them all. Now you can see not all of those are bad. So telling you the entire amount of cholesterol, the entire amount of vehicles on the road, well, it doesn't tell the full story, does it? So consider non-HDL cholesterol, a measurement of all the bad vehicles on the road. So a measure of the trucks and the delivery drivers and not counting those sweepers. The reason that's an important test to us is usually in measuring how effective a statin is. That's a tablet to lower bad cholesterol. It's a way of us finding out, is that statin working at lowering the bad stuff? So the serum cholesterol HDL ratio, another mouthful, consider it as simple as this. It measures the balance of the good vehicles on the road, that sweeper, versus the amount of bad vehicles on the road, the delivery drivers and those trucks dumping cholesterol everywhere. You need to have a good balance. Long story short, a number of more than six can be considered to be high. So the lower this number is, the better. So in summary, we've got LDL, that's those bad big trucks dumping cholesterol everywhere. We've got HDL, they're your sweepers, your cleanup crew. We've got triglycerides, they're the delivery drivers slowing down to deliver their packages. We've got total cholesterol. That's a measure of all of those three things on the road. We've got non-HDL cholesterol. That's a measure of only the bad things on the road. And then we've got a cholesterol HDL ratio. That's measuring the balance of good trucks versus, or good vehicles versus bad vehicles. In a way, if your tests are normal, to keep them normal, you need to do certain things. And if your tests are abnormal, well, you need to do those certain things to get it down. And that's what I've made this video for. But what I would say is this. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to take a statin. In fact, most of the time, you do not have to take a statin. So please do give it a watch to figure out what to do next.